Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us here at CCSC. In today's episode, we are going to have a quick one. Uh, hopefully a short episode. We're going to go ahead and hit play. We're going to bump this up to three times speed. Uh, you never know when, when you start playing the game. Uh, you plan on a short, you know, ses session. And uh, it turns into a long one. But real quick, in today's episode, the very first thing that we're going to do is pause the game. Uh, we're going to pause the game. We're going to delete all of this highway. Uh, we are going to change all of this highway completely around eventually. And I, I have to admit, ladies and gentlemen, we made a mistake. I bought this tile down here. Uh, we shouldn't have bought this tile. We should have bought one of these two to start with because the reason, the main reason that I bought this tile is for our shipping purposes. Uh, I wanted, oh, sorry, I wanted over here. I wanted a cargo shipping and a harbor. Uh, both of those are unlocked at 32,000 population. So we could have bought this tile with our next purchase. Uh, but since we already have the tile, let's go ahead and take advantage. We're going to go ahead and do exactly what we did up in this top left-hand corner over here. And we're going to strip out all of the oil. Uh, we're going to pull out all the oil out of the ground. And this is going to be a huge boom to our... Um, that's what I thought. We needed a little bit more. A huge boom to our production and our population. Uh, we're going to have a lot of people want to move here for these jobs, and if we can, uh, after the oil is gone, if we can transition them into new jobs, we should be able to keep them in our fair city. We're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to delete this one. We're going to line this up with this bridge here, and then we'll curve around into uh, the old roads, or the new roads, I should say. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight there, and then I'm going to show you a trick here. Uh, this side, we can just go to the curve tool. Go to the curve tool, and that should bend around pretty nicely. And this will actually come from this way. Let's get a better angle on this right there. And then you can see that it's a lot more separated over there. So we kind of had to bend it. But over here, I want to show you a little trick. So you can see there's definitely a bend. The road doesn't gradually cur curve, it bends, it turns. Uh, but if you delete this, 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 and this, and then go to the curve tool, and come from this node, and get it lined there, and we can probably come from this side on this one. Uh, we're going to come from this side. And then we'll change the direction. Then that looks a lot more natural and a lot less of a straight turn. It looks more like a curve. Uh, and then we can change the direction, get this back to highway setting, and there we go. Uh, now we can go ahead and hit play. And then we're going to go ahead and come down here with some industry roads, much like we did in the last one. We'll go to the straight tool. And it really doesn't matter. What we're going to do is we're going to come all the way to the coast. Uh, you can see the brown looking dirt that is oil underneath the soil. And the green is nothing. So we're going to come to this eastern edge. And then we are just going to do rudimentary straight roads along the coastline. Uh, all we're trying to do is get the oil out of this ground. It doesn't matter how these roads look. It doesn't matter anything about them. Uh, you can see we have over a million dollars, so we have plenty of money to play with. Not worried about that. Uh, ooh, you can see a lot of that is bridge. That's not good. Is anything else bridge? No, but this is. We need to get these two out of here. Uh, so let's go ahead and come up. And this is just kind of a cheat to still get the same coverage. Uh, but without having to build bridges that you can't When you have bridges you can't get to the stuff underneath this the oil uh, the soil there You can't get to the oil under the soil <laughs> All right, we should be able to build about straight here. Yeah All right, and again just rudimentary roads it doesn't matter uh, All we're trying to do is strip the oil out of the ground over here, but to start we are going to just start with a top section of his of this. And this should 
to be a good starting point. Now, there are two ways to do uh, oil industry, and I think I've discussed this before uh, when we were stripping out the last section, and you can go through, and in your Industries DLC, you can use all of the special features from the Industries DLC. Um, but to be honest, depending on what you're wanting to do, I'm not wanting to make a five-star oil field. Uh, I'm wanting to get this oil out of the ground, stimulate our economy by supplying a bunch of jobs, and then I want to repurpose those people who have moved to our town for those jobs uh, into sections of a population that are less polluting like our uh, office space. Um, we're not looking to keep this any of this area. We're looking to quick cash grab and then get out. <laughs> Um, hate to be blunt, but that's what we are looking for. Uh, I'm just gonna try. Can we just do something like this, maybe? I think, I think we just might be able to do something like this. And that should keep it spaced out enough. Alright, so I'm good with that. We got a fire, we got some dead bodies. Everything else looks pretty alright. Uh, so I'm pretty good with this. We're gonna go ahead and run some water lines and Because of how incredibly boring this aspect is I'm going to fast forward through this actually, you know what? I'm sorry We're just <laughs> I'm gonna make you watch it. Uh, we're just gonna do real quick perimeter We're not gonna do all of this, so I'm not even gonna bother fast forwarding or editing I'm gonna make you watch it um, So right there that's enough to get us started, and then we can get a power line. Hmm. Yeah, let's just get a power line from over here. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so that should get us started. Uh, and then we can, again, so you can go to your Industries DLC, provided that you have that DLC. You can paint the industry with the Industries DLC. Oh, there's not much oil up here where we're starting, but that's fine. Um, you can paint the industry with the industry's DLC, then you can go to oil. Oil industry with the industry's DLC. You get oil main building. Once you unlock that, then you get derrigs. Uh, you get, you know, pumps, refinement stations, um, storage facilities, uh, crude oil tanks, waste refinement, pharmaceutical, was that pharmaceutical? No, petrochemical, <laughs> sorry. Uh, oil sludge, uh, offshore drilling platform. You can get a lot of different things once you build this oil industry, but we're not looking to build this oil industry. Once again, we are just looking for a quick cash grab. So all you gotta do with that is grab your paint it tool. Oh, this is such a big section. Um, we're just gonna paint all of this. And like we did with the last one, we'll come down here and delete all of it later. So not a big deal. Uh, if, you, you know, not not a big deal to have it perfectly inside the lines. You can color outside the lines on this one, guys. Uh, doesn't really matter because we're going to remove all of it later. Uh, you don't have to remove it, actually. Like we did up there, we removed the entire zone. You can just rename, or sorry, you can uh, remove... The oil thing that we're about to put down here, this is industry specialization. You can remove this oil thing. Sunset Park, you can see. Uh, what was this one? Sunset District, okay. Uh, you can remove the oil um, uh, specialization and then just make it a residential area. You don't have to actually delete the area. But, nonetheless. Then all you gotta do is paint off some industry. And very quickly, people will start to move in and start to produce oil and this is going to drop you can see we're not growing we were at zero whenever i looked i don't know if we were at negative before that uh 19 10 so this is going to drop our uh yeah now we're back to negative population growth this is going to drop our industry demand and it is going to surge our uh, population uh surge our residential demand because people are going to start moving to this town to get these oil jobs, these good old oil jobs. And you can see, already, pulling oil out of the ground, refining oil. That should help a lot. And now, look, 76, 80, yeah. Growing, huge. Um, so I do want to go through and just, this looks way too dense. This is not something that 
a city the, so a city might have something this dense down in you know the downtown area but not up here uh, so I do plan on going through and deleting a lot of this office space and a lot of these residents and the way that I'm gonna delete them is by putting a lot of park paths or uh, cart paths park paths um, little footpaths so whenever you take like if you take a footpath here you can just run through and delete that. And then I'll get rid of that building. And then it has a footpath in between other buildings. We're gonna clean all of that up eventually. But as mentioned, right now we need the growth. We need the people moving here. Um, so unfortunately, it is what it is. It's just gonna have to stay. Now, as you can see, where's our demand bar for industry? Nowhere, gone. We've got some commercial demand. We have no more space. Uh, I was waiting to see how this traffic panned out. It is still holding up, but if we add any more residents up here, I think we're going to have to expand quite a bit um, the traffic. What I was hoping to maybe do is put those paths in like I was talking and then expand these areas sparsely, kind of like this. Like if you were over here, you'd do... Actually, you wouldn't do that one. We'd dezone that one. We would do this. Uh... Let's dezone that. We would do this one, maybe this one. Leave those open and do this one, but leave that rock. You see what I mean? Oh. Yep, yeah, sorry guys. Um, you see what I mean? Like, And then it looks a little bit more realistic. It doesn't look so crammed in there. There's a little space in between them. Uh, but nonetheless, Ooh, we lost more students. 29 students stopped going to school. That's not good. Um, we're still at Renowned. All right, let's go to View Campus. Still at Renowned because of the students. We need more students attending our school. Let's go ahead and give another grant. We'll do hospitality. Uh, let's go ahead, bump the budget up. We'll go to just 15 for now. That budget helped a little. Let's go ahead and bump the budget up just a little bit more. So what's the total? 20? Let's just go to 20. Let's max it out. Who cares? Um, attractiveness, we're fine. Students, we just need more students. What is... So let's go ahead. Dormitory, 75 of 300. 74 of 300. 75 of 300. So the capacity on campus is where is this information oh capacity is 4,000 we just don't have the students going there so hopefully it's not anything that we need to build or anything that we need to do hopefully bumping up the budget will get more students to want to go there instead of going to a campus out of town uh, so we have a problem down here you can see not enough workers so we are growing at 118 but we don't need to grow this area down here anymore for right now uh, because we don't have the workers, unfortunately. Now, we will slowly uh, delete this and then add this and then delete this and then add this and then delete this and add this and then grow all the way down until we strip the oil all the way out. And the reason that I want to do that plan is because I, you can see there's oil to the left of our city line right now. Uh, I want to get that oil too and I completely intend on buying that tile eventually. Uh, I think it'll probably be one, two, three tiles from now, but hopefully this will be kind of a slower process. Now we can go to our info screen, check out the natural resources. You can see there was a little bit of oil up here. We've already stripped it all out. Uh, they are working down here to get this oil, but you can see they move quick. They move quick. Uh, we're at 2,200, sorry, 22,578 population. We're growing 50 per turn. We've got some electric problems. And what I'm thinking with our electric problems is we need to put down more efficient uh, electrical uh, per provisions. <laughs> um, so I want to put down either the solar updraft tower or at least the solar plant. So the solar plant has a noise pollution of 25 and it produces 112 to 160 megawatts. The solar updraft tower, 240 megawatts, way better. 
Uh, noise pollution is 50 though. Uh, I like the solar updraft tower. However, you can see the solar updraft tower, very, very tall, opposed to the solar plant, which is very, very short. Uh, so, I wouldn't mind putting one of these down, but I'm not exactly sure where. So you know what we're gonna do? We're going to put one down in this zone. Can we put it here? No, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> uh, we're gonna put one down in this zone. We're gonna put down, actually, we're gonna put down a solar updraft tower. And that'll supply power to this entire area. Uh, way more than we need. What's the water sitch up here? This is pipage. There we go. Uh, that'll supply way more power than we need. So we can go to our... Sorry, we need to go to our info views and go look at our electric consumption up here. So we're at production 495, consumption 300. So we can drop this probably down to... I'd say maybe even 85. And then let's go check it out again. 379, so we can maybe even go to 75. 320. Oh, nope. We need to go back up. Yeah, it takes a little bit. There's a little bit of a like a latency period uh, before it really tells you what your power is at. Uh, so we'll have a wave of blackouts real quick, but they'll go right away. There we go. So yeah, 85% uh, with just adding that one solar updraft tower. And that one, of course, doesn't have water. Uh, that one solar updraft tower cost us... Uh, what? Sorry. Uh, cost us $90,000, but we will save that very quickly. We have a completely full cemetery. Uh, once you get a completely full cemetery, now, the weird thing is, you can just unload the cemetery. Um, empty building to another facility, uh, which, when you have the crematorium, then you can unload the building to the crematorium. They burn the bodies and, I guess, send them back to the relatives, like, 40 years later? I'm not sure, but you can also just turn it off. Uh, just turn it off, and you have a full cemetery there. That's it. Uh, we don't have the crematoriums, I don't believe yet. Oh, we do, we do. Okay, so everywhere next to a cemetery, we're gonna go around and put down a crematorium. And there's a perfect tile there. And before we do all that, we can go ahead and turn this back on, and we can exit. Empty. Sorry. Um, that is not what I want. This is what I want. So we've got a couple down here. And we've got one in Victoria Square, right? Yeah. Put one there. And a couple over here. So we'll put down crematoriums next to all of these cemeteries. And you don't have to do, obviously, a crematorium next to every cemetery. But hey, they look good together. They go hand in hand. It always cracks me up seeing the smoke come out of the crematorium. <laughs> um, the modern way to process the departed is through the use of thermal energy. Coincidentally, it also saves space. So it's a lot less space. Uh, patient capacity is 105. Uh, it's a lot less space. It, it works uh, a lot better. Um, all right. So I think the town is looking just dandy. We got a lot of dead bodies. There's a lot of uh, markers down for me to say it looks just dandy, but... You can see. Coming right out of here, going right there. Coming right out of here, going right there. It's very weird because I don't understand... If someone paid for a cemetery plot, they clearly want their deceased departed buried so that they can go see them. It's very weird to me that you can do this. It's very weird that it wouldn't just go, oh, you know what, that's full, you can't use it anymore. That is a heck of a little mausoleum there. Um, but yeah, they are just emptying bodies out of the cemetery and burning them. Um, yeah, it's very weird. Anyway, you can go back to your inspector tool. Now you can see we have gotten rid of 440. Uh, we can go ahead and turn the empty back off, and they'll stop doing all that and turn back into a regular cemetery. Alright, growing drastically. We're up to 100 per turn. 
Uh, however, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode. We don't have much. We, we I don't. I don't want to start a big project. You know, it's like uh, four fifteen on a work day. You don't want to start anything now. Just kind of phone it in until the very end. You know. We're just going to phone it in. Thank you for joining us here at CCSE. Um, we've got a crook. We've got a crook. It's an interesting house. Uh, police should be there soon. Don't worry. Don't lose any sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, New Washington, D.C. Thank you for joining us here at CCSE. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.